what's been going on whilst that we have been missing the uh, the action. I can only presume that this is going to be a really fun match. So yeah, waiting to. I think the game is ready, so we should be switching over any any second. Uh, and I mean, we did okay. we did talk about it being going to be a quick pace match. We haven't even seen it yet, and it's already five zero. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Doesn't get much quicker than that. Yeah. Blink and you'll miss it. Mm. Okay, well, I'm expecting. I'm actually like overall, I would expect because I don't actually know who, you know who the five zero is for actually at the moment. Mm. But I would actually expect that my eyes are closed right now. Whilst like, oh no, I looked. Oh. But I was, and I, it's I, not I, even I five zero. I can't. I cannot make a prediction. We were, we were even wrong. It's so not even five zero. I can't even make a prediction now because it would be sullied by the fact that I've seen the start of the match. So never mind. Oh, I'm so. Th uh, like, just do know that the G2 logo is over Hellraisers. That also threw me off. <laughs> yeah, that's so <laughs> weird. What is going on? I guess we'll get that fixed later. We are yeah. spectating this live, so we did have to cut the stream and add a delay because of the fact that Go we cannot be using the GoTVs as they do not currently work. So, here we go. G2 in with a fast push, and we are going to be seeing uh, Rain with a fast frag onto Rain Kill. So the site is going in the hands of... G2 and the bomb will go down as well. So it looks like they're going to continue their streak of rounds here and completely smash Hellraisers, who uh, who would have won that fifth round, that fifth round by, and now they're getting reset. So this just really is a hard situation. If 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 the T's are able to just push them down, this is going to suck. But we can see they're going in for this one. This is surprising to me because you can see Oscar had already rotated away from Car. He was ready to give up and second move down. And okay, Seeker's like, I can do it. <laughs> I, I can I do it. By oh. the power of Grayskull. <laughs> it's like putting his sword into the sky, get powering up. Did you watch He-Man? I, 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 yeah, I did. Well, yeah, man, thank God. Did a little bit, but that's that's pretty. Damn the the problem was like it. The thing that turned me off on it is the fact that we had a uh, Norwegian uh, dub. Oh yeah, the Norwegian it. dub. And that, that could just completely oh wreck anything. God. Oh my God. I think the only good dub I've heard of a, like any sort of cartoon in Norwegian is uh, Lion King. Already, yeah, nice. For some reason, like, yeah, like Pumba, those guys, they're they're just like correct. And Pumba is, is gangster. Yeah, you no, know, he's a thug. Thug life. All right, <laughs> we got the uh, the push coming in soon here from uh, G two. They have themselves many weapons to their disposal as they go and attack this site. And we are going to see a nice anti force by anti eco style play from them. Oscar though with a fast first frag. Got Jacob and Rain. Chiming in with frags of their own as well. And uh, it's like we will have Angel just sitting here at the car position. Not able to do all that much just yet. But three players against three. So it's not the end of the world here for Hellraisers as they make their way in for the retake. Quick P comes in from Stiko. It's going to go down. Jake in with a frag from the smoke. And all hope is lost. Oscar announcing his presence with the AWP. Will they go in? Will they find him? Will they hunt him down? Well, they've got so little HP that I don't. Well, I guess. Jake with 100 HP could very well do that. And he might be actually be able to find Oscar here. I like this. He's kind of doubling back into a main. Oh no, you can't miss shots here, Oscar. He'll get the second one, but he's down to 16 HP. And that bomb. Oh, nicely done. He'll, he'll get the uh, he'll get the frag. Uh, Dennis actually being the only guy to, to kind of chicken out for Gamers 2. Not joining in on, on the potential hunt there. So... Oscar being able to hold on to that up two rounds in a row, even though his team is uh, is losing rounds, that's uh, that's a good thing. Obviously, you could tell that even though they were pretty limited in what they had to to work with in terms of weapons, they managed to make that a really expensive round for the Gamers too. Mainly because Oscar, with that aggressive push into into doors, was able to find two opening frags. So that that's really good, and, and we know that Oscar could be an absolute beast with that weapon. Ooh. Frags, frags, and more frags coming in from Hellraisers as they take down pretty much all of G2. They couldn't really work their way out there. Rain is down to, uh, well, basically his, his mission now, should he choose to accept it, is to kill everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Get some damage in there economically. But he won't do that. Do that. So Oscar will take him out after one lowly kill. And G2 now are in a position where they can keep the buys coming. They can keep the pressure coming. And this would be a great time to win a round for G2. They would absolutely smash Hellraisers. Yeah, and we would be back into a similar situation to what we saw when we jumped into the game, pretty much with that A push uh, Gamers 2 had early on. And it seems like Gamers 2 have a similar idea in their head. They're going to put one guy over towards that B bomb side, just kind of lurking about. But the rest of the team slowly inching, inching their way closer to A main. And actually, a pretty heavy rotation from, game, uh, from Hellraisers here. They seem very unsure as to what they want to do. 
We're about to rush the troops to local speed. But thought the better of it, so Angel remains in mid. But only two players on uh, on that A bomb side for the Hellraisers. And they're not really in a good position to have anyone rotate in for them and actually help them out, so they're heavily committed to actually getting frags here. Yeah, this, this push has been working out for G2 in the past, so mm -hmm. let's see if it will work again and give them that same result. G2 looking for the openers now. There's the first shot. That's actually going to connect there from Marcolelli. He's unfortunate not to get the frag. It'll be simple. We'll get the kills there. Trades coming in as G2 take the bomb site and up, are up a man here. Three versus two as uh, Stiko and Oscar once again. The combination there. The, the two, uh, two new players are looking to make, uh, work their way in here, but it's not quite working out. Oscar gets a nice shot, but uh, once again, it's just about surviving. At this point, he's got 11 HP. Flash going in for rain. And Oscar will back away slowly but surely. And uh, I have a question here. Is, so Simple's name says Simple, God of CS. That's like a heart. Is that a D after the heart? I can't see. Or is that an O? Uh, what is, what is that? That's a D. Heart's D. Nice. Anyway. Uh, actually, is it? It's hard to tell, isn't it? I really don't know. It could be as. No, it has to be a D. I'm trying to compare it to the O and off. Yeah, it has oh, to yeah, be yeah. That's, yeah. That's got to be a D. Anyway. Uh, moving on, we'll have uh, the AWP saved by Oscar, and uh, again, <laughs> again, yeah, he's, he's going to be the. Um, he's the Kiyoshima. The Kiyoshima, yeah, that was yeah. I was trying to. The <laughs> Kiyoshima of Cash, indeed. Right, he's had, well, he's actually seeing people though, so he's having a bit more fun than Kyo had on Dust Two. Yeah, Kyo is basically playing offline, just <laughs> he's no bots, spawn, and spawn no bots. And yeah, exactly. He hasn't learned the commands yet, man. It's not that easy. Oh, we get uh, potentially a boost coming in from Hellraisers. They are on a pretty awful buy. They decided the force behind the AWP save of Oscar. Now, G2 might just jump into the position, but Angel's going to find himself the spray. But where is the kill? There is nothing there. Just damage onto Fox. And two players are dead immediately as the Warbang comes into the play. He was boosting Angel. That's really nice cognizance there from Fox to Ooh. look for that frag. And now, JKM. Oh, no, he doesn't realize. Did he there not see the pistol? No, Stiko! Oh, my God, he gets the kill here. Unfortunately, he can't instantly defuse. Two versus two situation. Dennis, absolutely beasting. I, and I'm pretty sure you can see the, the gun tip right there from Stiko. Oh, in the back. Oscar will take down Dennis. And now it's just Michael Lele left. And Michael Lele, I think he's done a really good job here on the timing of, of how he's going to push this. As Oscar did not spot him, but he does know the call. Oh, the shoulder peak was fantastic. Michael Lele just showing for just enough time. But did he do enough? I think he did. I think it's going to be very close, but he just did, just barely did enough. Two seconds, all right. That's, that's definitely more than enough. Very well played from Michael Elliott in that position. Really well done indeed to perfectly time his his, uh, his peaks. And Michael Lele is going to give G2 an excellent opportunity to start springing forwards now with a good economy because their economy had been pretty destroyed, but this is the chance to rebuild. Yeah, and uh, for once, Hellrich is not going to have an off on Oscar pretty much creating havoc for them because uh, he's really been the reason why gamers who haven't been able to stabilize their economy they've been winning rounds pretty steadily but oscar has always been a always been able to pick up one or two or more players and uh well as soon as that op is out of his hands you could tell gamers to full control over the round now they're just kind of playing aggressively looking to find some frags here making things a bit worse for uh, for hellraisers Oscar has managed to pick up an AK here though, but likelihood of him might being able to hold on to it, not very likely. He does pick up a frag onto Rain though. So again, Oscar has just been the uh, the steady factor for Hellraiser so far and picking up frags pretty much every single round. Oh yeah, and uh, I like how Simple's actually backing away because there's no need to actually give them money. I mean, it's okay, yeah, only three hundred dollars, yeah. but why why give them that extra grenade? Why give them? More or less anything. Of course, he's not saving anything either. So maybe he can take another position, get a more favorable engagement on an exit frag. You know, so does it, you know I like that he backed away there. It's pretty cool. And uh, we'll see that 2-9 scoreline. So G2 looking really good at the moment. Really, really good. And that money is starting to build. Hellraiser is desperately need a good round out of this one. Uh, off back on Oscar. And uh, <laughs> again, I think that's going to be the key thing. They don't have too many nades though, and I'm uh, I'm hoping that gamers two are are aware of that fact because this is the kind of round where if they buy up, you should realize that that it's going to be a low econ buy, in the sense that they're they're not going to be able to buy fully up with utilities. So you have a golden opportunity to actually starve them out, but gamers two are just picking up the tempo right now. 
Oh, nice entry from Jkem though, and Angel's hit by Forklift. There's only one kill, and that's going to be a problem right now because Hellraisers, all they have left on the bomb site is Kucha. He gets flashed. There's nothing he can do. And once again, we, we see this time and time again. G2 have really found that hole in the defense. Oscar and Stiko have to make it happen on this retake, on the rotation. And G2 are all over this defense. They are standing large and in charge on the bomb site in great positions. And Hellraisers will lose Stiko. Oscar once again will come into this same position, just playing the exits. There's the first frag. Might be able to get another one. There it is, but not going to really help all that much. He can't go for the, the uh, defuse, and he's going to get shot in the back a little bit. Fox will go down, though. Nice little kill from Oscar, keeping himself alive. Oh, almost getting all the players, but he will be eliminated, and that is so worth it for, for G2. Because having an AWP on Hellraisers in this position, they could actually force... They, I think it would be advisable even to force up. Yeah, well, if you just look at how much damage Oscar is doing. He's 19-0-5 right now, and Hellraisers have two rounds. <laughs> yeah. So he's clearly doing a ton of damage to Gamers 2 at any given point, regardless but of what he has. It feels like a lot of those are probably very low impact frags because it seems oh, like he comes yeah, in. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But, but it, it, has, it has impact in the sense that it does just pretty much deny Gamers 2 the opportunity to actually build up an economy at any given point in the game. Mm. So that's pretty big in itself. But for that to actually matter, you need to at some point pick up rounds. You need the rounds, and they're actually picking up frags here. They are up a man now at this point, but they need to collect weapons. I don't know if they can really do that all too easily from the ones that they just managed to drop. There you go, Stiko, trying to go for it, and he gets punished. And here it is, Oscar. This could be the play to really swing things in the favor of Hellraisers in this round, despite the disadvantages present. We'll move forwards now, and again, if the timing is perfect, Oscar can make this happen. Yes, they line up for him. He'll get the first kill. Does get flashed away, though, and that is unfortunate. Can't get both players. Had he been able to do that, this would be very interesting, but Jacob should be able to pick this, ki this kill up, although Kucha is lurking with a 5-7. Jacob has no idea where he is, and Jacob's going to find an easy kill onto Fox, and that is the bomb down now by Short. Jacob looking for the shot, but Oscar's found himself an AWP, and that's going to be the round from Hellraisers. One in the most uh, st well, strange fashion, but one nonetheless, and another couple kills by Oscar in that round. Yeah. No, Oscar's just carrying this team on his own. Uh, uh, I guess it's it's a bit of a weird way of putting it, like saying carried when they're actually not winning. It, like, yeah, exactly. It's not yeah, even close, but yeah, yeah. they wouldn't even have three rounds if it hadn't been for Oscar, it feels like. But we might just get a B-Rush coming in from G2 at this round, and that could just be the shock and awe that, that G2 need. And if we uh, switch to somebody over at B, we'll see, uh, there it is, the, uh, the play coming into this site. Simple at the back of the bomb site with an AWP. That is not what you want to be running into on the offense. This guy is just taking everybody down. He's still alive, but finally Jkem gets the with the killing shots, and that's just uh, Jkem left now at this point. One versus four, and Hellraisers look like they might be able to claim one more round. Let's see what else Jkem can do. This is very difficult. All the nades coming in the peak, and Kucha just works a side strafe. <laughs> Goes for the long strafe and the takedown. So right. four ten. So consecutive rounds for gamers to win. Well, you can see the result of Oscar's play coming into uh, into effect in a big way for for gamers to. That previous round they had lots of tech nines, coupled them with uh, a couple yeah, of uh, AKs and not that many needs to work with either. And that that's solely because of Oscar. And here we go, four spy coming in from G Gamer 2. Not surprisingly, they will have to buy up seeing how it, it is the last round of the first half. And Oscar already starting things off in a pretty good fashion. Yeah, that's a great place to take the orb, especially considering G2's uh, predisposition to go ahead and attack A in rounds like this. And we'll see that uh, Angel's in a great position by the barrels. He'll take down one player there, that second, and there could be more to follow. Not from him, but his teammates are fast into the action as Kucha's by quad boxes at the moment. And he'll, look, he'll be looking for those frags momentarily. And there's too much distraction here for these G2 players. He gets uh, Mark Lele running away, but he's got the bomb and a one on two. So great situation for him. Yeah, got armor as well. So input is not going to be a factor. He could definitely do this. It's the only the only downside is the fact that he does have a Colt instead of an AK. But, uh, you know, take what, what, what you can work with. And well... Playing slowly. Luckily for him, Hellraisers have decided to play somewhat together here. They go for that gamble instead of the splitting up. Yeah, I, I think actually this is the smartest decision Hellraisers could have made. Instead of chancing it, taking 
or giving um, like a little opportunity to, to play two one v ones, you you force him to play versus two people in a retake. Yeah, I agree completely. And they they found their way into that that uh, retake situation. Now Michael Lele, one against two. Oh, what a flake there from Simple! Could barely see a pixel of Michael Lele, but Simple finds it. And that's going to be the defuse coming in for Hellraisers. Five ten. They've managed to s salvage something into this into this cash game, but. Very awkward CT side for them. You would expect more T rounds than cash these days. Every single map they used to be CT sided these days is pretty T, -t sided nowadays. So yeah. we'll have to see whether or not they can have a similar result. But it all starts with that pistol. Yeah, and no, so far, so far, I think gamers will have to be okay with what, how it played out. It definitely could have been a lot worse had Oscar had a little bit more help at the start of the game. I, I, lo I love how G2 were attacking A so much, though. Like, oh going yeah, for yeah. the executes and pushes. That's not something that you would usually expect more pick-based play from them, but they... But it, it kind of works nicely into the favor. It's similar to what Envy used to do on cash um, for quite some time with these sudden sudden executes through their own smokes. Mm. That type of thing. Because it really catches people off guard, and at that point, it, it's not... You're not getting into these situations just because you've flashed and... You know, you're not going to get easy kills that way. You're just going to get good positioning to the point where uh, you end up in a pretty 50-50 duel with your teammate. And if you're gamers too, you are you got pretty good odds, actually, on winning those a lot of the time. This is a good uh, good pinch here on the A bomb site, actually, from, from Hellraisers. Very good pinch, indeed. They've got that bomb down. It's just Michael Lele left. <laughs> this is horrendous. Wow, they managed to isolate like every single player and just take them down with n in numbers. It's like yeah. you know a, a bunch of uh, wolves just just uh, catching prey, just uh, putting them into corners and just attacking them all at once. Bunch, you know, a bunch of traps being put out by Hellers is there, and again Oscar just just dominating. Twenty four kills, six deaths. The six deaths. Yeah, no, he's he saved a lot. Like he saved that off a whole lot. How is that even lot. possible? That is ridiculous. Yeah, he's doing a lot of work. Wow. Oh, there we go. Oscar in with more kills. And he's, he's not going to stop there. This The god of FPL in Oscar is is pulling Hellraiser. He's kicking and streaming, screaming <laughs> over the line here to try to win this match. And G2 on this save have not got all that much done, unfortunately. Well, I say save. Sorry, force buy, that said. Mm. And uh, force buying, it used to be something where, you know, before the update, the last update, I, I was definitely a fan of mixing in, especially on certain maps where force buys are difficult on, like Dust2 and, yeah. uh, and some other maps. I, I really liked the, the P250 save that TSM would always do, but most teams were still force buying. I feel like force buying now is really good because if you've got the skill on a team like G2 and with the new hitboxes where now Deagles are even way better than they used to be, mm -hmm. you should definitely go for it, I feel like. How do, uh, do you feel like it's the same dynamic or you still want more saves? Uh. Again, uh, <laughs> I, I like to force by now and again, but I, I definitely think it's depending on what kind of situation you find yourself in. Uh, obviously, if you get a bomb plant, then no. But if you force by in that situation, then you, you should be hung. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, there's definitely, I think, merit in some situations to throw in an execute. If you've got the, pl if you've got the execute, and uh, d on the team, depending on the team in the map, I think you can find some really good spots yeah, for it. Uh, yeah, like similar to if you play Inferno, well... There you go. Fox actually brings the round back for uh, for gamers too. So eco rounds working out there. The force by uh, actually functioning. Good but stuff there from G2. Yeah, but no. But like uh, on a map like Inferno, for instance, I think th that's very viable if you can get Molotovs. And then you can do similar things to what Keed used to do, or the now LG uh, used to do quite a bit when they played Inferno, which is basically just carpet bomb. Yeah, I mean, the entire side of bomb. bombers in with uh, tech iron armor, which is a pretty lethal combination when you get when you force people to play close up to you. Yeah, now it's going to be. Uh, I mean, how is have to force by right back against their opposition at this point, and uh, see if they can make something happen here. They've they've got no grenades to work with. That's a really yeah. painful situation. So they're going to have to rely on hitting on these these incredible, extraordinary deagle shots. And it's so hard to. Uh, uh, it's so much harder. To, to do this on the T side than it is on the CT side. You don't have the favor of just waiting behind an angle or being in an awkward position for people to check. You're actually ha gonna have to take initiative and find people. You do have some really good eaglers on this team, but they just can't get through the choke points. Look at how the MP7 just chews through these players. Uh, oh, great stuff here coming in from Michael on the MP7. He's gonna take down pretty much everybody by himself. Uh, the full actually, everybody, yeah. 
So great stuff there, and that's really going to help uh, the it's economy. Quite a bit of money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly that, and uh, well, you can see him sitting pretty with 5.9. Now he bought up an another MP7, actually. No, actually, no, he just dropped the one first one of his teammates. But yeah, no, gamers too. Looking pretty good right now, and clean eco coming in from Hellraiser. So another opportunity for, for gamers too to simply just make more bank. And Michael Lilla, starting strong. Yeah, going to be a really nice uh, round for the money to be built for G2. Again, just padding out that bank, as you mentioned. And that helps so much going into the future rounds because they still have these uh, these SMGs that they can toss, o toss away the next round. We might see even two ops board up. Potentially, they can really go for that if they want to. They'll be tossing away the, the SMGs anyway. So here we go. Let's see what they do. Uh, it would be great to see a couple ops in play. I would assume that Michael Lillard is going for an op. Maybe just one? Okay, yeah, just one. Makes sense as well. And... Uh, Again, you can you can play that or pretty much anywhere. Yeah. Oh, is he giving it to Fox? I think he might be giving it to Fox. Yes, wow. he is. Where is, is Fox going to be? Or yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. So interesting stuff. Well, I, I actually like this because I think just in general as well, Michaelella can be more effective with a rifle than Fox can, and I think Fox and is is a more reliable offer than Michaelella. As agreed. Well. I agreed completely. Yeah. So uh, I think just that just that kind of swap just benefits everyone and especially the team. You can really rely on him to hit those shots towards B storage. I've seen him do crazy stuff there before. And it's, it's kind of like that Neo factor where it's like, you know the guy's going to hit his shots. And yeah. that's, that's what you want from an opera in that spot. And uh, to take the safe decisions as well for the team. Mm -hmm. Fox is definitely uh, very good at that kind of stuff. And look at Simple Man. He's hungry for this mid pick. He's so hungry for it. Uh, Angel's going to try to take a mid pick. And he's going to, uh, sorry, an A main pick. And he's going to get it. Michael Ellis is going to go down after all. And there's nobody on the A bomb site. It was just Michael Ellis, the rest of the team, towards B and middle. And that is a really, really big problem right now. Oh, wow. Great shots in from Angel. Uh, sorry, from Rain to finish off Angel. And Kyushu will get the bomb down after all for Hellraisers. Oh, my oh, goodness. How did that miss? I thought that was, that was on, but apparently not. Apparently not. Must have been a pixel off. And G2 going for the retake now. Four versus three. And uh, Rain is going to be in there. Finds the first player. A little bit too much showing for Simple there. Gratuitous spray down from Jaken. And it's going to be G2 with a round. That was a fast cleanup. This is a disaster for Hellraisers. It really is. It I can't really believe Oscar missed that shot. That, if, if he no, hit that shot, that's that's the difference. That's surely. the thing. Like I, I, like I don't see how he missed that shot. I, yeah. I don't think he did. Like that in my head. That that's yeah, that, yeah, yeah. To me, I was like, that's on. I mean, it, okay, it was like a torso, kind of like it hit. It hit some. It didn't hit the head or anything, but it's like some. It definitely it's looked like, like it's on. It's like in the gap between the chest and the arm. Yeah, maybe maybe that Something the like gap that. that gap that gap. Not thigh gap, it's just like <laughs> that armpit gap that everybody <laughs> wants nowadays, right? <laughs> the armpit gap, man. That's uh, body image. <laughs> um, all right, so we do have a quick opening from Dennis there. That's definitely going to help uh, the, the G2 side out. And they are looking at a really fast cash game against Hellraisers right now. They're looking fantastic. Fox will pick up a kill with an aggressive B storage push. And G2 all over this at the moment. Just that, that, that first kill wasn't enough for them. Steeko in with a quick uh, response there onto Rain. But this also is a big tell from Hellraiser's 2 G2 of what's going on. G2 must know that it's the A push, and it's definitely confirmed at this point. Angel will take down Jacob. Dennis is just lurking by short. Oh no! Oh no! Disaster strikes to the incendiary comes in, and Fox gets an opportunity, but he misses the first shot. He'll claim the second one, but there's still two players to find, and the bomb is going towards B. This is such a weird situation. I think Fox's teammates must have called that for him, because he's actually preemptively going over there. And he's got the incendiary into the back. That's actually good. That's going to force Simple out of the position. He's getting burned alive, but oh, Fox is not going to wait. That, that, yeah, that's so weird. When you throw down that molly, you would expect he does it because he knows it's going to force anyone in that Otherwise, spell, why right? would you throw it? Yeah, yeah exactly. It's like Otherwise the point of throwing that is to watch for somebody <laughs> on the off chance being there, yeah. pushing out after getting burned. Yeah. It's like, I, I threw it to throw it. Like that, That's literally what he's telling us right there. It's, it's like there was no autopilot. There was behind what he was doing at all. Autopilot, man. Autopilot's real. True. Well, not going to be that big of a deal for the gamers, too. They've got plenty of rounds to work off of, and they still have that buy going. So, Fox and Michael are going to open things up. Kutcher and Angel already down. So, a very similar situation, actually, to what we saw in the previous round. But that time around, we had uh, Hellraiser just managing to claw their way back. I think it's going to be harder this time, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely looking quite difficult right now for uh, the, the G2 to actually like lose this round. Hellraiser uh, would have to do something rather amazing. 
And Oscar is looking at working at something quite amazing, but he's got a guy <laughs> behind that smoke. But he's gonna pass Michael Ede, did he? I don't think Michael Ede even saw him. Michael Ede has no idea that Oscar moved through that position. Surely he doesn't, because he would be looking for him. Jesus. He'll spot Steeko though. He knew about Steeko. Yeah. But do they know about? I, I don't think he knows. I, I don't think he knows either. But I don't think it matters. All oh that much my to God. Execution style. Oscar's going to gun down Michael Ellen. Now he's got a chance to win this one. He's got 30 seconds to try to bait out a player. Now G2, if they're smart, they won't peek a single man unless it's, unless it's really necessary. I actually like that from Fox. He doesn't stick around to take a shot. He's just like, oh, he's there. And <laughs> yeah. Ducks. Yeah. And I like how it's like, they won't peek. Oh, okay, they both yeah. peek and they get the kill. That's great. So 15 7 and uh, G2, they look really good at the moment. They, yeah, they look at the screen. Look to be in a supreme position. Oscar, only guy being able to buy up any sort of proper rifle on Hallery's side, and well, I, I I don't see them coming back into this, especially with the start like that. That's the AK gone as well. It's all good, man. The AK was was there to be picked up, but Simple's got it now. Just simple get passed around. Simple got a CS hashtag new simple. Let's, let's see how uh, how that goes. <laughs> Angel is is actually just legendary with pistols. That guy is so good with pistols, with everything. He's just a manly man. Yeah, oh, he's, he's, he's a pretty alright player. I think that's fair to say. He's he's really good at the like, just getting into that flow state and just like wrecking people, just charging into enemy lines. Yeah, and he does have those games every now and again where he just ends up dropping forty. Oh and yeah. You don't really know where it came from. Oh yeah. And here he goes. Will he catch on the side? Yeah, there it is. There are the shots. Oh, so close. Two bullets left. And he looks a long range shot. Excellent damage done to Dennis, though. That's going to force them back. And actually, that's he's Angel has created a lot of space with that Deagle. Now they're going for the challenges here in middle as well. This is kind of bold, but this is actually kind of good to find these engagements. And now it's a three on three. And they could maybe claim these weapons if they get onto the bomb site. We've got Jake and pushing B storage as Kucha picks up the kill onto Dennis. And things now suddenly looking very, very hard for G2. They've got to get themselves into that bomb site onto the retake, and JKM could be key here, but Angel's gonna hold the flank to, to nullify the strength of JKM's position. Here he goes, flashed in. Oh, that is just stunning there from Hellraisers. Great execution of that little team play movement towards that kill, and now Fox is like, nope. Just gonna nix out pretty quickly. And uh, well, Hellraisers are in a situation where they can actually hunt for him, which is good if you're, uh, if you're gamers too. They can't afford to lose more weapons without having a really hard time replenishing and actually getting nades. Because they, they didn't really have any, that much nades to work with this time around. And you don't want to bank your entire seat, uh, entire seat half way. on solely just bragging down people you know, by, by your own machine. That's going to be really hard to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. And now it's going to be uh, pretty interesting to see how this actually works. Because... They could actually force buy behind this if they wanted to. Like that's, yeah. that's completely legit considering the fact that they've just been reset and they have no money. So why not go for it? Yeah. And they are going to go for it. They're going to go for it straight away. It's actually pretty, pretty okay force buy coming in from Gamer yeah. Zero with the AWP from from Fox. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, god he I gets the kill in the end. That was the most optimistic grief peek I've seen from Fox. Yeah. I thought he was going to get out of it. So I'm fine. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's like that comic with the dog, where it's just like everything's burning around. So like, this is like, I'm fine. This is yeah. fine. Yeah, <laughs> everything's okay. Nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, and Dennis barely misses the kill on to simple. Oh dear, this is not going well, is it? No, uh, things are unraveling pretty fast. Jacob might be able to just hold on to that Colt, but but I'm just going down. Nah, he doesn't really have that many places to run without. The potential of getting picked off here from uh, from Hellraisers. Hellraisers. Oh, Is there a way back in to this game? Uh, uh, personally, I think it's too late. Like you can't give away a map point and then mount the comeback. Because yeah. any little mistake, any just crazy round you from can't. any of the players. But will they? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, but will they? Come on, it can happen. I've seen. Crazy you know, things. I'm, Oscar has 30 frags already. I don't want to be that guy. It's like, anything's possible. Oh <laughs> my god. You know, I don't want to be that guy. Dreams be dreams. But, but of course, yeah, I've, I've seen this happen a bunch of times lately. So I wouldn't, wouldn't count it out of the, it's not too out of the ordinary to see mm. something like this. I mean, it, it just takes a lot of mistakes from the other team, essentially. Like, it's. Yeah. I and mean, it, it could it's be like. It's not like Gamers 2 are injury, not injury prone. Yeah. Huh? No, no, like, um, 
Yeah, yeah. Well, they're prone to strong. making mistakes. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And they, they, ah, they've gone with the stack here, and this this could go poorly. It, it's just USP though. There's no, uh, there's only one P250 on Fox. That's basically it. So, so this is what Harry's is uh, have been doing pretty well. If you look at it, there's a Molotov there. That's gonna actually miss all the important positions. But <laughs> that's like the, that Molotov did absolutely nothing. Oh, oh my God, it missed three. There's three positions <laughs> next to it. Who that, threw it? I don't know. That's not. That's not. That's not throw that guy to the dogs, to the wolves. Hang him out. Cause yeah, you, cause you can you can monitor at the back of the site like the uh, the default box positions yeah. oh, or, yeah, yeah. or quad box or NBK. Those are like the three spots there which you you want to monitor when you're doing a monitor and execute anti eco. Or you can do that one, which is just like and that's just like that's no, scary. No fighting everyone. Yeah, it's like they can't move away from the positions now. Yeah. It's like because then we be moving, moving into the flames. It's like this kind it's of like, the opposite effect, guys. Yeah, it's more like guys, if you found him in one of these three places, he he can't. Go Go away from there. Like <laughs> yeah, Great. It's <pretty> <laughs> exactly what we wanted. Uh oh. Bit of malfunction from Angel there on the nades as well. Maybe but was we'll that was the the Malta guy. Maybe, maybe. We'll uh, we'll we'll look past this for <laughs> now. We shall we shall move on. Uh, well, move on with our lives. Buy around from uh, Gamers Two. They picked up an off again on Fox. Uh, not a lot of nades. Whoa. Was that <laughs> that was yeah, top. Yeah. Went on top of the fort list? Okay, no, it did spread. Okay, I thought that that was a failure as well. But we're good. Right. We're good vendetta. Oscar actually opening up once again. Oscar doing an insane job opening things up for for gamers too. He has really been doing crazy stuff. And three versus four is an interesting situation for them to play off of because there's a lot of really legit options from this position. Well, yeah, especially when you look at the the positioning from gamers two as well. They've stacked heavily towards that A bomb side, understandably given how the last couple of rounds have played out. And that was a massive frag. That was so important from JKM. He had a nice off angle as well. He actually went to like peek out outside of the off angle for the frag. Beautiful play there from from JKM. That's going to change the face of the round. I love that JKM's on this lineup now. I, it's such a good stage for him to get more experience and uh, and more more love, I think, as a player. And he definitely deserves it. And here he is defending the vent room. Now, Harrises have redevoted themselves towards the middle area, and Dennis is lurking. He finds a good timing. Both players, but Jacob's there. He's gonna get the spray with the uh, M4. That's one player down. Just simple left. 13 seconds to get the bomb planted. There's no messing around. He's gonna plant default. No other choice here, really. And it's time for the clutch, but Dennis is too close. And he will eat him up. And we've got the GG. 16 10. Great stuff there from G2. They played uh, quite well, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, they, they had some really. I just love how they exploited Hellraisers. They've did the. Okay. A is.